Hi, Dr. Steve Siskind here for Real Dose Nutrition. I recently read a shocking book by Dr. William Davis called Wheat Belly, Lose the Wheat, Lose the Weight, and Find Your Path Back to Health. In this book, Dr. Davis, who is a well-known cardiologist, gives wheat the biggest smackdown I've ever seen and backs it up with hard science. He also provides a well-backed critique of whole grains masquerading as health products. There is a germ of truth in this whole grain story. Whole grains are indeed healthier than white flour products, just as filtered cigarettes are healthier than unfiltered cigarettes. So should you smoke more Salem's in place of your Marlboro's? I don't think so. And then there is the scary fact that modern wheat contains 42 chromosomes, 28 more than ancient wheat, and leads to multiple health issues. Quite frankly, this is pretty scary. Ancient wheat isn't exactly good for you, but modern wheat is far more troublesome. The primary reason wheat makes us fat is due to its high insulin response. Did you know that whole wheat bread has a higher glycemic index than table sugar? So when you eat that sandwich, those crackers, or have that tortilla, you're fighting against a hormonal cascade that you simply cannot win. The reason is because wheat carbohydrates, called amylopectin A, cause a larger spike in blood sugar than almost any other food. That's higher than a candy bar, ice cream, or pure table sugar. Amylopectin is a carbohydrate contained in wheat that produces an insulin response so strong that it causes fat to form specifically in your visceral organs. This means that your liver, your kidneys, your pancreas, your intestines, and your belly become engorged with fat, creating a no-win situation. Dr. Davis calls this a unique 24-hour-a-day, 7-day-a-week metabolic factory. The result is inflammation and abnormal cytokines, which are the chemical messengers that can cause leptin resistance and arthritis. And this causes reduction in adiponectin, which is your fat-burning hormone. And that is what causes an uncontrollable spiral of weight gain. There are a lot more problems associated with wheat. Wheat contains zonulins, which can create permeability or small holes in your intestines. Wheat can create withdrawal symptoms upon its removal. Wheat is a large culprit in nighttime cravings. Wheat can cause mental sluggishness and attention disorders. Wheat is responsible for multiple skin disorders. So what does one do in order to reverse this effect? We might have guessed it, give up wheat. However, Dr. Davis is clear that you should not replace it with other glycemic foods like corn starch, rice starch, potato starch, and tapioca starch. And, if you read the ingredients of most gluten-free packaged foods, these are the exact ingredients you will find. So, the trick is to read labels carefully and stick to fresh vegetables, lean meats, healthy fats, fruits, preferably berries, and cheeses. I know this seems difficult, but one effect of giving up and or dramatically reducing wheat is that your appetite and cravings will diminish, so it gets easier. What I suggest is to try this for a week. That means no wheat and do not replace with other high-carb foods like sugar, corn syrup, and the starches I mentioned earlier. You might feel a withdrawal at first, but after seven days, you might never want to go back. In fact, there are two things I'd like you to consider posting about in the comments section below. One, if you've already had success giving up wheat, let us know what made it easier for you and the benefits you experienced. This will help inspire others in their pursuit as well. And two, if you have any questions, or struggle with certain wheat foods, for instance, pizza is a tough one, especially here where I am in New York City, then mention that, and, and perhaps another reader will have an alternative or suggestion that will help you. Lastly, I definitely recommend going to the bookstore or hopping onto Amazon.com and getting Dr. Davis's book. It is highly motivating. Until next time, I wish you the best success in your journey.